Greetings. How are you doing today? I'm good, and you? Can I ask who this is? Uh, yes, you can. Uh, I I'm doing well, thanks. Uh, I'm a man called Chris Dorsey, and I'm calling to file a formal claim against the Virginia State Bar. I'm sorry, you cannot file that complaint with me. You have must talk to intake. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm calling, no, I'm I calling you. Have you're have the executive problem. director, and, and it's against <laughs> you because you're guilty of crimes including murder against... Uh, greetings, Cassidy. How's it going? Good. How are you doing? You know, I'm doing okay. Um, I, I actually was just talking to Karen Gould, and I'm filing a claim against the Virginia State Bar. And um, so, basically, um, when I told her that I was doing that, she and I, I'm recording this, and I, I recorded my, my conversation with, with Miss Gould, um, and she immediately just hung up the phone on me. Uh, basically, she said that I had to talk to whatever intake is. Now, I'm calling her because she is the uh, executive director and chief, chief operating officer. And I'm also filing the claim overall against her because she is the top officer. Is that correct? Okay, so how is it that you can have a, a functioning organization that, that controls the court system and the Supreme Court of Virginia, and when the person in charge is called to account for supreme crimes against me personally, I'm, I'm a man called Chris Dorsey, uh, that's what I'm called, I'm, I've had many conversations, recorded conversations, many thousands of people have witnessed and seen crimes carried out against me on video camera by the Virginia State Bar and then thousands more have seen me videos of me calling just you know watching recorded phone conversations with me verifying these with the officers so what I wish to know is how is it that, that you can have a even masquerading uh, as legitimate organization when the executive director freaks out, gets very aggressive, and immediately hangs up the phone upon any complaint. And I, I, I'm not filing a complaint, I'm filing a claim. Because I'm not complaining to anyone because it's the entire Virginia State Bar, and I've got, I've got a list of, of members of the Virginia State Bar, up to and including uh, Cleo Powell, who is a, a, you know, what you call a Supreme Court uh, member of the of the Virginia Supreme Court attempted murder against me, and I have video evidence of this. That tens of thousands of people have seen this kidnapping, extortion, uh, racketeering, etc. So what's going on there? Basically, you're doing all these things, and then you won't even you know the executive director who's behind all this, Karen Gould, uh, hangs up the phone and oh, you have to talk to intake. What is intake? I'm talking. To, I'm calling the executive director. Are you following what I'm saying here? Yes, sir. I am following you. And Good. I do not work in the intake department. No, 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 no. I'm not interested in intake. I'm, I, I wish to get back on the phone with Karen Gould or Karen Gould's lawyer, Edward L. Davis, who is, uh, uh, who is, you know, listed under this number. Uh, you know, as far as the public knows. Don't, no, I, you don't. Okay, uh, well, but hold on a second. Why would I be holding on? Tell me, tell me what's going on. I, I don't, I don't want any more bar association tricks. Yes, unfortunately, I'm only a legal secretary, so I am not able to help you with this matter. But I do want to find someone who's able to speak to you. So Just get me on the phone with Karen Gould again. Just transfer me to Karen Gould, please. That's what I'm asking. Karen Gould, nothing else. All right, so we have video of Karen Gould hanging up the phone and freaking out as soon as she is confronted with her crimes, and now I'm on hold after attempting to call Edward L. Davis and getting a legal secretary. Uh, greetings, yeah, I'm trying to get in touch with Carl. Virginia State Bar. Um, he's ever at the Legal Services Corporation.
section of Virginia. Are you um, contacting him for a bar-related reason or? Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, no. I mean, this is this is all business uh, for me. I, I'm I'm a man called Chris Dorsey, and I uh, I had a, a it, this this call is being recorded. I had a video uh, recorded conversation with Carl. Uh, it was it was a pretty long conversation, about forty minutes, and I, I was highlighting the crimes of the Virginia State Bar that were carried out against me and the individuals who carried them out. And uh, Carl has been the only one who has not acted in a one hundred percent overtly adversarial manner with me during our recorded conversations. And um, uh, and when I say overtly adversarial, he was certainly adversarial. Now, I had just spoken with um, Karen, uh, who's the executive director, and then I spoke to, um, uh, I t attempted to get in touch with Edward L. Davis and got a legal secretary, and then uh, talked to another woman. I'm not sure who it, who it was, but... Uh, um, I, I, you know, anyway, I, I recorded the conversation. We, we had a fairly uh, extensive conversation where I started naming off lawyers who were involved in crimes against me, including attempted murder. And, and this includes, you know, members of the United States Senate and, and uh, uh, Virginia House of Delegates, uh, Virginia Supreme Court Justice. Um, that's what you call her, Cleo Powell and, and other judges like David Hicks and Christopher Papiel and New, uh, uh, Newport News and Colette McEachin and, and uh, Tracy Thorne Baglin. And this, this, you know, these are things that extend from, like I said, attempted murder. Uh, uh, that's Wayne Powell and Christian Parrish and J.C. Wilmore. And covering that up, that's every judge in, in the city of Richmond. And, and then just like things like extortion, intimidation, racketeering, kidnapping, etc., etc., etc. And I you know, I know I know the law. Do you do you, do you understand the common law? Yeah, I'm fairly new to this position. I just came to the bar in November of twenty seventeen and took over an incredible position and my job is really limited specifically to pro bono engagements and access to legal services for low income individuals. Okay. Um, so I don't have really any sort of experience related to anything that falls into the criminal Area. Well, what I'm saying is that every member of the bar is complicit. That this is an organized crime network, and and uh, uh, they are engaged in everything that the you know what anybody would think of as an organized crime network, like the Jewish mob. Well, I mean, this is the main you know a big part of the Jewish mob. You've got a Jewish mobster. Karen Gould as, as your director, or the Cosa Nostra, the Italian mob. But what I'm saying is that the Bar Association is worse. That when when the when the uh, other mobsters get in trouble, they go to the Bar Association, who control. You know, this is racketeering on on you know a level that that is the epitome of racketeering, where. All of the members of the bar are engaged in extortion, and what I'm asking about the common law is because that's the basis of the law in Virginia, is the common law. You, you know that, correct? Yes. The English common law, correct? Yes. The, you know, based on two treatises on government by John Locke, right? That's, that's where George Mason came up with all that stuff. Virginia Constitution, Virginia Declaration of Rights. So that's the law. And what I'm saying is that everything about what the Virginia Supreme Court does is against that, and they do it in an aggressive manner. And those who point that out, and basically it's not just like, oh, hey, uh, the Virginia State Bar just decided to randomly you know, target an individual. What I do is I go on international television and confront individuals and in addition confront individuals who carry out crime directly on camera and because of this because I am pointing out and and uh, uh, attempting to get 
compensation and get this criminal network that you work for, you're complicit in this of course too, uh, I attempt to make it stop, then, then these members of the bar escalate and take, carry out actions like attempted murder, abduction, um, racketeering, extortion, falsifying evidence, and a lot of this has to do with destruction of video evidence. You're a member of the Virginia State Bar, correct? Yes, I am. Okay. Is it legal to destroy video evidence? I don't know the answer to that question. Yes, okay. Is it illegal to cover up the, the destruction of video evidence? I don't no. know the answer. No, no, no. Well, I'll tell you the answer to both of those. There's a Virginia. There's part of Virginia code that says anyone involved in any of these activities can no longer at any point work for the for the state of Virginia. And I'm talking about Mike Herring and Kevin Nunnally doing this to me after another attempt on my life, including abduction, sexual assault, etc., etc., etc. And Alan Jackson, Wayne Powell, Christian Parrish, Kent Shipman. They're all they're all complicit in this. And, and that's just a few of the individuals of the dozens and dozens. And therefore, since there are, you know, at least 100 individuals who are members of the Virginia State Bar who are almost exclusively the ones who are targeting me, and, and this includes elected officials, and that no one, including and especially Karen Gould, will do anything but cover this up. I'm saying the whole, the whole Virginia State Bar, I'm not saying this, this legally and under the law says the entire organization is nothing but an organized crime network that extorts from the people. Who, have you ever read Virginia Constitution? Yes. Okay. What are elected officials? I mean, I, I'm, I'm referencing Article 1, Section 2 of Virginia, Virginia Constitution. Magistrates are Sorry. servants of the people. Sorry. I must at all I'm, times be amenable to them. Yeah. Don't, no, I'm, I'm, hold, hold on a second, hold on a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. I have to correct you. I'm not called sir. You can call me Chris. I'm a common man. Because that's another thing. I, I don't have a title of nobility like you, which is banned by the Constitution. You know that, right? I don't have a, t a title of nobility. For Do you call yourself Esquire? Not really. You don't really call yourself Esquire. Are you? Cons not, it's not in my signature line. It's not on my business card. Well, all the, all of the office holders of the Virginia Supreme Court and and all I, I guess besides you of the officers of the Virginia State Bar uh, on their website it says Esquire. Is, is are you not an Esquire? Not. I am. I am a licensed Virginia attorney, but I just don't. I don't use Esquire as my name. Okay, well, it's still a title of nobility, is it not? What is your last name? I just want to make sure that I understand who's calling. Uh, you know, you can't name me. I'm called Chris Dorsey. I'm a man called Chris Dorsey. But you can call me man because man is the highest authority in any, any, any sort of law or legal system. God creates man and man creates government, right? And are, what specifically, can, are you just calling to make Oh, I'm recording this, and I'm just, I was attempting to get in touch with Carl. That, that's why I'm calling you. And what I'm saying is, I require compensation, and you and I can work something out. I, I would, you know, I'll take valuable property of yours, so as we can work this out separately. Otherwise, that's what I wish from all the members of the Bar Association, is property and compensation for wrongdoing. So, I mean, I, I guess we can... Start, you know, I'll accept, I'll accept uh, uh, whatever you wish to offer as far as compensation for what you and through your organization you're complicit in carrying out against me. Well, I, there's nothing that I can do over the phone today. To no, we're negotiating now. I, I have standing over you. You have no standing. You work for the government, so therefore you're my servant. So you're you've committed wrong against me, your organization has, and further today, it's, it's been exacerbated, so, I mean, whatever, whatever you wish to offer, I'll, I'll consider it. I, there's nothing that I can offer right now, sir, 
<laughs> well, when when it when when is a good time for me to get back to you? Because other otherwise you're complicit. And and have you ever read Title Eighteen of U.S. Code? No, 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 you don't, you don't let me go, like, if you're going to hang up the phone, that, that's on you, this is, this has been, right, right, so what I'm saying is, you're guilty of a crime, you, you know it, and you're going to, what, just hang up the if phone on me? I don't have any knowledge of any crime that's been committed against Oh, what do you think the Virginia State Bar does? What do you, what do you think the Virginia State Bar does? These are your, these are your allegations. But they're verified, and I have standing over you. You, I have standing over you. And if you have a complaint, I don't complain. I can't. I don't complain to my servants. Or go to the police. But the well, right? Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, do you know who Kent Shipman and Victoria Pearson are? No. Okay. Well, they are. They are the lawyers for the police. So what I'm saying is that at all angles, the Virginia State Bar is controlling. Defense attorney, member of the same secret legal society, I'm not a subset to anything. Like, if you want to ask my name to you, I'm not a subset. Get it? Hello? Yeah, I'm Okay, do you, do you know? Oh, well, hold on, hold on. I'm asking you a simple question, and you're, you're trying to jumble it all up. Do you know what non-assumpsit means? Do I know that, what, what means? Non-assumpsit. Non-assumpsit. It means, no, it means I'm not a party to any of your contracts. I'm not a member of your secret legal society. And what I'm saying is all of the defense attorneys and all of the prosecutors and all of the judges are all in the same racketeering society. That's the, the definition of racketeering because it takes place in a court, right? And what do you play on a court? Tennis. You knock a ball back and forth with what? A racket, right? So the defense attorney and the prosecutor and the judge, they're all on the same team. And I'm saying that's racketeering and that's what you engage in every day. That's what I'm saying. It's very simple, right? Right, so you're you're refusing to make good on on the wrongdoing that you and you are getting compensated to carry out against me. No, no, no! I'm not alleging it. I have proof of it. I I know it. It happened to me, and there's video evidence. So it doesn't matter. I'm 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 offering you. I'm making offers to you, and and uh, um and that that's your choice if you if you if you intend to exacerbate the crime, then, then you become more complicit in it. And, and that's what you do. You do nothing but carry out crime every day. You're an enemy of, of the Constitution. The and to give individual members of the Virginia community information about where they can go for There's no members of the Virginia community. There's only people. There's people. There, we're not individual members of a, of a Virginia community. Okay, who, no, 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 I'm not a citizen. I'm one of the people. Okay, what, what, who ordains the government? So that, that's, I mean, this is the reason why I'm trying to listen. And no, 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 but I'm asking you a question. You don't have to try to listen. You either listen or you don't listen. What I'm asking you is a question. I'm asking my servant, you, a question. Who ordains the government? Sir, I'm going to have to end the phone call. Stop calling me sir. You're, so you're refusing to answer questions and you're pleading the Fifth Amendment. Uh, uh, you're pleading the Fifth Amendment. So, okay. So you're hang up the hang, hanging up the phone on me because I, I'm not I'm not ready to hang up. 